Ladies and gentlemen, a Time magazine has officially declared their person of the year for 2015. And that person is German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Yeah, and this is big, you, big news, it really is, because Time magazine hasn't picked a German leader since... <laughs> Let's just say it's been a while. <laughs> been a while. But it must have been bittersweet for Angela, because on the one hand, she's just received a highly prestigious honour from Time magazine. On the other hand, this was the picture that they used for the cover. I mean, <laughs> what the hell, Time? What's that? It looks like Nick Nolte's mugshot. <laughs> Could that be? Come on. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> but not everyone is happy about this choice, because this morning, Donald Trump tweeted, I told you Time magazine would never pick me as a person of the year, despite being the big favourite. They picked the person who is ruining Germany. <laughs> First of all, I don't think you want to go on record saying, I liked the old Germany better. <laughs> also, I love that Trump goes, I told you Time magazine would never pick me. You don't get to brag about not winning <laughs> just because you predicted it. Like, that would be like if last Sunday Tom Brady was like, see, I told you we'd lose to the Eagles. <laughs> did I call it or did I call it? Everyone said we'd win, but I was like, uh-uh, no way, man. <laughs> But it seems like Trump has been even more obnoxious than usual lately, because during an interview with Barbara Walters, Trump claimed that he's the worst thing to ever happen to ISIS. Personally, I feel he could have ended that sentence before the words, to ISIS. <laughs> It's a common thing because everyone has been hating on Trump. Even J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter books, got in on the action saying that Donald Trump is worse than Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if Trump is basically Voldemort, then I guess Hillary Clinton would be Hermione, uh, Chris Christie would be Hagrid, <laughs> and Rick Santorum would be Colin Creevy. Oh, do you not know who Colin Creevy is? No. Nope. Do you know who Rick Santorum is? No. Nope. Well, that's my point exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and of course, of course, Bernie Sanders is, uh, is Dumbledore. <laughs> not because they look alike, just because they both graduated college together back in 1784. <laughs> Uh, but I gotta say, J.K. Rowling isn't the only Brit who has a tr who has a problem with Donald Trump. Trump's comments uh, advocating a ban for Muslims from entering the U.S. has created an international outcry. In Britain, over 150,000 people have signed a petition to ban Trump from entering the United Kingdom. I know, <laughs> it's an incredibly British way. <laughs> to be angry at someone, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we don't care for your behaviour, so we have placed a number of signatures underneath a strongly worded letter. <laughs> we were, but here's the thing, like, because back home in Britain, things are a little different from here in the US. Like, we, ha we even have different names for things. Like, we call fries chips, we call elevators lifts, and we call Donald Trump a complete nightmare. 